there have been some questions in the squadron about how to scan multiple pages into a single PDF file. I'm going to show you how to do this on this brother scanner, printer, copier that we have in the office. There are two ways to do it. One is to use this feeder up here. It's a document feeder. Just stack the documents one on top of each other. Note though that there's a little picture here that shows you that you're going to be placing the documents in this feeder text side up. Not text side down like that, but text side up. The other way to do it is to take single pieces of paper and place them one at a time on the glass and scan them individually. Before we get into that, I want to take a moment and talk about the uh, file system over here. Notice up here at top, there's a local disk, users, public, cap, scan documents. Scan documents is this list here, and that's where these are going to go as you scan in your documents. How you get there is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a shortcut over here called cap. And if you click on cap, you'll get a long list of folders here. We go down to scan documents and go into that folder. Here's where the scan documents go here. So let's first of all do a scan. I've got three pages here. I'm going to place this into the document feeder. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to show here that you're going to get dialogues here on this screen, but they're really hard to, to read. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to see them pretty easily if you're actually standing here, but this phone does not do a good job in capturing that. Once you've got your documents in the feeder here, you're going to press scan. And then you're going to get a dialog here. It tells you that the document feeder is ready. And it says scan, select, and sleep. You're going to press this down arrow to get it out of that. And you're going to go into something that says scan to PC. I'll go down just briefly to show you that's what it says. You want to scan to the PC, so you're going to press OK. The next thing it says is scan to a file. And you're going to press OK again. Now it says press start. And you're going to come over here and press start. You can see that the individual pages are being scanned in. And over on the computer, you've got a dialog box that tells you the status of the scanning. When all three pages are done, in this case, you'll see a file pop up on the top of that list. And that file is the PDF that was created from the three pages that were just scanned in. If we look at this document, you'll see page one, there's page two, and here's page three. So that's how to do it with the document feeder. Now let me show you how to do that by scanning one page at a time by placing each page on the glass. Why would you want to do that? You may have a piece of paper like this that you want to scan in. It's got something on both sides. The automatic document feeder doesn't have a way, at least that I'm aware of, to be able to scan two-sided copies. So we're going to open the cover here. The first page we want is this first front page here. We're going to place that glass side down and we're going to lower the lid. Now we're going to go through that similar dialogue. We're going to press the scan button. We're going to take it out of the sleep mode with the down arrow here. It says scan to PC. We're going to press OK. 
it says file we're going to scan it to a file we're going to press ok and then it's going to tell us to press start and we're going to press start again now it's connecting to the pc and you can see the dialog there it's scanning in the first page now something different is going to happen here since we're not using the document feeder you're going to get this dialog it's going to ask you if you want to scan another page. If yes, you're going to push the up arrow. If no, you're going to press the bottom arrow. We're going to scan the other side of that document. So before you push the button, make sure you flip the page over here. Because as soon as you push that button, it's going to scan. So we're going to push the button yes to scan it. You can hear it scanning. And the dialog box says it's uh, scanning page two. And now it's going to ask you that same question again. Do you have another page you want to scan? If yes, you press the top button. And if no, the bottom. We're done here because we're just going to scan in the front and back of that page. I'm going to press no. Now we'll come back over and we'll notice there's a new file at the top. And that's the file we just scanned in, the front and back of that page. Front. And there's the back. So that's how you do it, the manual method. And the manual method, as far as I know, needs to be used anytime you've got a page or a document uh, that's printed on two sides.